Hi, I'm James with JNC Home Repair. Today I'm going to show you how to unclog a kitchen sink. First thing you need to know is the first thing you're going to need for this job is you're going to need a basic snake or a clean out. Um, it's referred to both terms. Uh, most people uh, in my field, they just call it a snake. Um, it's used to unclog drains. You're going to need a pair of channel locks. Um, you're going to need these to actually remove the P-trap and the clean out underneath the sink. Um, most of the common problems occur just, just inside the drain down into the P-trap and just in the basic PVC pipe that you see underneath the sink. That's the most common place you're going to find your, your stop up. Uh, that's the reason it's clogged. It's usually some food that's gotten left that didn't get chopped up in the disposal um, that was just left in the line and then it goes down into the P-trap and it just stays there and there's not enough water pressure to actually push it on out so it just sits there and then over time a little bit more builds up and a little bit more builds up and sooner or later it'll it'll clog up and then you got water backing up in your sink and you may think you have a real major problem but I, I'm almost willing to bet it's probably pr something pretty simple and uh, we're gonna go ahead and walk you through that step today um, first thing you want to do is you want to return uh, you want to get underneath your sink clear out some room you're gonna need a little room to work with you're gonna go ahead and remove your p-trap with these channel locks um, and some basic PVC fittings. They're supposed to be hand tight, but a lot of times they're just a little too snug to get off with your hand. So it's always good to have a pair of channel locks with you so you can just go ahead and break them loose. Uh, once you get the P-trap removed, you're gonna um, actually inspect it and make sure that there's no kind of food or any kind of blockage or anything inside that P-trap because that's normally where the blockage is gonna occur. Once you clean that out, um, then you're gonna, if, if there's no blockage there, then you know you've got a blockage somewhere past that point up and down into the sewer system where the where the water actually drains into the sewer run your snake down into the pvc line and actually try to unclog this this leak